Chelsea and Sonia versus Raquel and Liv for our, the women's tag team championships. And I I caught this. My sister and I were watching Raw together. And when Raquel came out, we felt like there was something up. Like my sister says to me, oh, she looks really sad. And I was like, oh, well, she might be playing up the injury, right? Because she was supposed to be having a knee injury. And then the doctor said, oh, no, we we don't really want to uh, allow her to wrestle tonight because we'd really like to get some scans. But Anna Pierce was like, nope, if you feel like you're good, then you're going. So I was like, okay, but now that we know that the match ended and them losing their titles, I feel like it was a giveaway. I felt kind of bad for her. But I am so here for Chelsea and Sonya winning. I think it was the right move, which I think some people are taking issue with because obviously I feel for Raquel, uh, you know, her, her <laughs> recent history of the tag team division has not been good, no. but this had to be done in order for Rhea versus Raquel to make sense because we even talked about it. It seemed like it was kind of a barrier to get that to actually happen because it's like, so then you're, not going to have the tag team titles at SummerSlam. Like that felt like something that needed to happen. Um, but if Raquel is going to go after the women's championship, which that was throughout the entire show last night. Um, and if Liv is injured, then you assume that that's not going to be a match at SummerSlam. So I, I, I think this was great. I'm very excited for Chelsea and Sonia. I, I, Chelsea is amazing. I am obsessed with her. She needs a title on her. She's so good. Like you just, She's she needs hilarious. to be the champion. Yeah, she's hilarious. I love this. I like that they've kind of um like she's she's still the Karen character, but it's not as like obnoxious Karen. No, it's as not were... a legit Karen. It's the, it's a nice well, the way yeah. the way that they introduced her, it was like very like viral video Karen, you know? And I like that they've kind of let her make it her own and she's thriving. It's incredible. I'm so, so I'm so happy for them. Oh, I couldn't I couldn't agree anymore. I mean, to see her character like that. And then on top of it, she's actually good in the ring. Like, very good. Yeah. Not yeah. only with her moves, but selling, registering, yeah. you know, all that stuff she's so good at that you you just want to see what she's up to next. Mm -hmm. And it, it's also giving Sonya flowers, too, because, yeah. you know, yeah, we've talked about Chelsea a lot. And Sonya may be the, the Genetti of this group. Uh, but... I, I think just from how far she's came from, you know, being a jobber in a sense and, you know, being bounced back and forth with, with different factions, tag teams, her even like managerial stint, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's nice to see her get rewarded with the tag team titles. So. What I love too and is the I, history oh, that yeah. they have together. Cause they were both on tough enough. I see same that. season. Yeah, I so um I I, th I do like that, which I think is another aspect of why I like them as a tag team, because there is that familiarity there. They they were comfortable with each other, even if even though they hadn't worked together, you know, as a tag team. I don't know. I really like that. There's it doesn't feel as randomly put together as other women's tag teams have been. So I I'm I'm really excited for it. 